Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Oops It's Roops. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo Wii, Call of Duty, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3 Online. Over April Fools, I did a couple teaser videos of myself online with both of these games. Um, and I promised a tutorial. It's been about three weeks now, and I apologize it's been so long. But as you can see in the video in the background here, currently if you try to hop on to Modern Warfare 3, whether it's the Spec Ops mode or multiplayer, you get that error where it says the servers are down. Um, here I've got Black Ops uh, creating a new character. And same thing when you get to both multiplayer and the Zombies mode, a Nintendo Wi-Fi connection kicks back an error message that says service is down. So that's on multiplayer and then also on Black Ops Zombies Online, you'll get the same message back. Uh, we're going to go through, I got a little tutorial put together today and show you how to restore the online functionality for both of these games. And the fix we're going to use does actually work for quite a few other games. Uh, just a quick side note, if you're using the disc for either Black Ops or Modern Warfare 3 and you get the warning about, or the update, feel free to go ahead and do that update. You're not going to unhomebrew your system or anything like that. So that is safe to do. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, the things you'll need for this are a soft modded Wii. You're going to need a homebrew channel and a WAD manager of your choice because we'll have to install WAD files for this to work. You'll need an SD card. You'll need an internet and SD card capable PC. Whichever Call of Duty game you're going to play online. And some files. I'll have download links in the description. Um, I say some files because not all users will need all of them. Uh, some, some of you are only going to need one thing. Uh, that's why we're going to start with just the first file. You're going to want to download uh, Auto Wii MMFI Patcher. 0.7.5. Okay, so now we're going to copy the file we downloaded, the auto WII MMFI patcher 0 0.075. We're going to copy that onto the SD card. So I will insert my SD card into my card reader and it pops up here. The folder we're looking for in the SD card is apps. You can double click that. If you don't have that folder in the root of your SD card, you can just go ahead and create one. But I already have one there. Mine's empty. But uh, the Auto Wii MMFI Patcher, you'll right click and choose Extract All. And by default, it's just going to throw the folder into the same window there. So we want to make sure that it's not the zip one again that we're opening. So now we're going to open the one that's just the folder. We'll double click that. And you'll see it says apps and then read me. So I'm going to double click apps and then there's a folder in there. W we MMFI patcher and we will copy that folder into the apps folder on the SD card. And that won't take very long. It's a really small file and that's all we have to do for the patcher. So when you get back to your Wii, you'll put your SD card in there and throw your disk in the disk drive. And instead of going to the disk channel, you're going to go to the homebrew channel. And if you did everything right, you should see the app in there, We MMFI Patcher. You'll select that and then select Load. And you'll see some text come up on the screen here, uh, just explaining what We MMFI is doing. Then it says Loading Disk, so you got to wait just a little bit for that. And lo and behold, at the very bottom of this game will boot in a couple seconds. We'll just wait for that to come up. And so I fast forwarded through some of the loading screens here. Um, when you get to either Zombies or Online or Online or Spec Ops, when you first try out the Online, you'll find out whether or not you need to take further steps. So if you've got a Wii that was on Call of Duty Black Ops, Zombies or Multiplayer or Modern Warfare 3 Multiplayer or Spec Ops recently, and I guess I don't know what exactly what recently means, you may or may not have the newest update on your system. If you don't, this is the screen you'll get. You'll get a screen that says required update. It says launch multiplayer now. 
Um, it does not work the original way to go in and still do the updates. We're going to have to manually put the updates in there. So I know on this Wii, Black Ops does not have the newest update. So I threw Modern Warfare 3 in there. Again, just load, throw the disc in the system, go back to Homebrew Channel, and load up the Wii MMFI launcher again. Uh, patcher, excuse me. And we'll hit load. And we'll get the same text screen, and it'll say loading disc, and then it'll say loading disc, in a, or disc will load in a few seconds. So the good news is for some of you, if you were playing Call of Duty, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3 online up until whenever the last update, I don't know, 2017, 2018, I guess I'm not sure how new the newest update was. Well, probably much older than that. In any event, for some of you, the steps we have already taken will work. You have nothing further to do. You're actually already back online with Call of Duty on the Wii. Uh, for the rest of us, who are getting these messages, which will pop up here shortly. An update to Call of Duty is required. And like I said, it asks you to launch multiplayer now to download it. It does not work that way. Don't even bother wasting your time. Just click no, and we'll go back to the home screen on the Wii, and I will continue this tutorial how to manually install the update for Black Ops and manually install the update for Modern Warfare 3. Uh, this is the optional part of the installation I was talking about at the beginning. Um, some of you, well, if, you've, if, you, if it doesn't work now, you're going to need to download the two update wads, and then you have to have a wad manager for this part of the install. Okay, using the download link below, you're going to download the file called COD Updates. Once you've got that file downloaded, it will probably be in your downloads folder. Uh, COD Updates, it's a zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click on that and select Extract All and then hit extract. And it should throw the actual folder with those updates right into the same download folder where you had the zip file. Then I'll take my SD card and plug it into my computer yet again with my reader. Sorry for the delay, I forgot to do this beforehand. So same SD card I had before. Um, this is the root. I've got apps and I've got Boot Me, which is another video some other day. But I'm going to go and right click on the open space in the SD card. Select New and Folder. And I'm going to add a folder called Wads. And obviously if you've got a homebrewed Wii, you might already have all these done. I'm just trying to help out the people that don't have a ton of stuff on their newly homebrewed Wii. So I'm going to open up the folder of COD updates, not the zip file. And there's two files in there, Black Ops v51 fixed.wad and Call of Duty MW3 SM8E fixed.wad. I want to take both of those files and put them into the wads folder on the SD card. So I will double click this and I will drag both of these over. And they're not real big, they won't take very long. Once those are copied over, we're done on the computer again going to close this and we will go back to the Wii and put the SD card in. And for this part, um, a reminder, you'll need a WAD manager. Um, when I'm on the Wii next showing you how to do this, I'm using a, a WAD manager. If you don't have one, I'm sure there's like a thousand tutorial videos out there how to use them. If you need more explicit help, please comment below and I'll do everything I can to try to help you. But I'll see you back on the Wii in a second. All right, we're back at the Wii. We're going to plug our SD card into the Wii and you go to Homebrew Channel. And you load up whatever WAD manager you've got there. Like I said, I've just got, what I think it's WAD Manager 1.7 by W A N I N K O K O. But pretty much all the WAD managers work the same. What this is going to do, you just scroll through your options. Uh, source device is going to be SD card. You find your WADs folder where you installed the two updates and you choose those and you'll go to install wad and it'll do its thing for a little bit they don't take very long to install but this effectively is patching in the latest update for modern warfare 3 and then the next one we'll do is black ops same thing click on it install wad
So for once and for all, this should be it for getting these two games back online. Uh, you'll hit B, you're going to hit home to back up and restart your Wii. I cut out a little bit there, but I threw the Modern Warfare 3 disc back in the system. And again, we're going to go back to Homebrew Channel. We still have to use the Wii MMFI patcher every single time you load, the, load one of the games up. So not the disc channel, we go back to the patcher and start the game from there. And the load screen that you'll learn to get very much used to. And I didn't cut any of this out because I didn't want anybody accusing me of using like old screenshots or something. I don't really think anybody would take the time to use old screenshots, but I did cut the audio out so you didn't have to listen to me mashing the A button to try to pass through all those opening screens. But first thing we'll check out is Spec Ops. So one of the things I found most frustrating about the whole online thing ending was you couldn't even play Spec Ops solo player because regardless with the Wii, Spec Ops has to be connected to the internet to work. So you'll see here Private Match. It's going to load up and it's going to work. Yeah. So I got a new guy. He's only level one because I just made the character. But um, we're online there. So that's good. If you go to find match, there's not going to be, there's not anybody online on this. So it's never going to find a match for you. But you can see it's checking ping and everything. So it is genuinely back online. We're going to hit main menu. We'll watch the splash screen again. <clears throat> Multiplayer, same thing. Um, you, were, you, would have, you would have always gotten the persistent error message that the servers are offline. Uh, with the patch and the update applied, the online multiplayer lobbies will work. So MW3 online. I don't know if you saw the top right corner, the extra digit popped in there. It recognized the update. Talks about voice chat. Once again, new guy, the character I just created, but online in a lobby. And actually, if you look, it shows three people online. So I don't know if those people just have their systems on. Yeah, and I pointed it out right there. But they're not available in matches. But the whole point of this video is I'd like to see everybody out there with a Wii spend the time to homebrew it. Throw your uh, Call of Duty MW3 and Black Ops discs back on your system. Come play some online. But this isn't going to load either because there's nobody playing. There's no lobbies to join. But again, genuinely in a lobby. We're going to back all the way out to the Wii menu. Once it lets us. And we're going to swap in the Black Ops disc. And it'll be the same thing. We're going to verify online functionality for both zombies and for multiplayer. So it'll be just a minute here. Hang tight. So we already applied we already applied the update for both games so we don't need to do an update now we already did that in the first part of the video uh, we got the black ops disc in there we're going to pull up homebrew channel and we're going to load up again via we mmfi patcher And while we're waiting for this to load, I guess I will discuss, I did make a couple forwarders for the Wii MMFI patcher. Um, there's also a program called Preloader, where you can move your disk channel out of that top left corner of your Wii. And then if you drop a forwarder in there, it's kind of nice because you don't have to go to Homebrew Channel and then to the patcher every time. 
you can just throw your disc in, hit that one icon in the top left, and it'll load directly without having the, the extra step. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to upload a video with that, and then I've got down, I can put download links up if you'd like. But I've got them set up on my system. I like the convenience. But again, we're trying to mash A to get through these load screens. So starting off with the zombies, we get into the zombies and you'll see via Black Ops Online, please wait. And you'll notice in that, let's see, that'll be the bottom right where it says COD. You know it hits online when that, when that pops up, COD Zombies. You get that little update thing that means it connected to the online and you'll see a lobby start up here, voice chats enabled. New guy, only guy in the party. Uh, if you go to find match, again, there's nobody on, or assuming nobody online. But either way, we're not going to wait for a, a lobby to join up because you're going to be there a very long time. But we're in a lobby that does work. Back online again. We're going to back all the way out. Main menu, and we'll go to multiplayer. And again, we've got a little bit of a lag time here to wait. We might as well talk about it. Um, I might, if I do the forwarders video for you guys, let me know um, if you want that. And then maybe in the description below, I'll post what my, all right, so Black Ops Online, sorry. Uh, Multiplayer is loading up here. Uh, you saw in the top right corner, it, well, top right, it popped up the, the version change. That means it found the update for online. Voice chat enabled. And like Modern Warfare 3, it actually shows people online. Oh, down the bottom left, four players total online. Again, they're not really in the playlist, but there's people that have their systems out there online, and I'm assuming this is how. And this one actually put them in a party with me. But regardless, we need a lot more people to take the time uh, with their homebrew Wii. Uh, get the patcher installed. Come play Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3 with us. Uh, what I was saying before I interrupted myself with that was uh, I'm going to post my ally code for my Oops It's Roops account. Uh, I'll put that in the descri description below for both Black Ops and for Modern Warfare 3. If you guys would like to add me as a friend, please feel free to do so on there. So yeah, that's full online functionality restored to Call of Duty Black Ops and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Uh, that should be the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Oops, it's Roops. And go out there and get your Wii back online. Come play some Call of Duty with us. Thanks.